Hello? Well, my mic wasn't working for like a whole minute there. <laughs> Maybe I should test these things before I live the stream, huh? Uh, that sounds like a smart idea. Ooh, what's up, Buzzy? Okay. All right, let's uh play Smash. Hey, Dead Bear. Hey, Savage Sniper. Ricky. Anyone wants to play with me, I'm totally down. I know you guys are probably busy with your families or something, though. Wait, where's my webcam? Oh, crap. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> I'm still a little sick, but I've gotten better. Title isn't a good sign. What? What do you mean it's not? It's not a good sign. Whoa! You got it. You got a ticket for Pax East? No way. How much did it cost you? Your future first ten firstborn childs, children. What did you do? How did you do that? I'm so jealous. I wish I could go to Pax East. Up B kills. Is that how it I know nothing about Cro Chrome Chrome? Google Chrome? I, I don't how do you even say his name? I don't know. Here I am. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. Being sick sucks. I don't know what do you guys want to play? Should I host an arena? Well, let's warm up with a random match then. Let's just do- I'll do one. I literally don't even know what any of his attacks are, besides what Oz showed- <laughs> Okay, so... I don't know if you guys caught the stream from yesterday, but towards the end, Oz was like, You should- I think... For you, you should use Chrom. And I'm like, why? Just, he's just like, just use them. <laughs> and then when I actually started doing it, I was like, wow, I see why. You're telling me I'm like, too IQ or something. I don't know. Oh, oh, wait, what? Wait, what was that? Okay, K rule. What is K? Who's K rule? Oh, what? Wait, what? What is the range on this? Wait, is that a crown? What does this do? Oh, 
Whoa, what? Wait, is that super armor? Oh, wait, what? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. What? <clears throat> How do I deal with that? He just super armored through that too. What do I do? Not hit the front? Oh, oh, how was I supposed to do that actually? Can I catch that? Okay, seems to be going well. I just kind of just throw the sword. Oh, no, oh, no, crow. Oh, I was freaking out. What? So it's a projectile. Oh, I missed. Oh, maybe I should have thrown out the smash attack. Oh no. Oh no! Wow, that, that worked? Wait, what? <laughs> wow, I did so well! And I've only played this character like three times. Okay. <gasps> hey, Sir Butts a lot. What's up? <coughs> Thank you for the nine. 99 super chat. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for the support. You can combo Nair into fair. Oh, I see. At least I wasn't told to use the Belmonts. Is there something even more like annoying about the Belmonts? I know the edge guard really well, right? <laughs> Wait, you only you got your PAX East ticket for only $65? Did you like invent a time machine and buy it like a year ago go for the ups off stage up b kill i'm scared though wait i was up a stock so maybe i should have tried it anyways <laughs> oh crap yeah i was supposed to host the room huh okay yeah i will don't worry is that the magic school bus isn't there a copyright issue with that Yeah, I'll host the room in a second. Let me just lose very quickly. Oh wow, how did I... Amazing. Am I good at this game? Whoa. 
Oh my gosh, I kind of just like throw things out and people run into it. Oh no! They really didn't like see that coming. <laughs> wow, my dash attack kills. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> That's my first time three stalking someone. I think. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oz, if you're watching the stream, you were right. <laughs> Krom is great. <laughs> Wait, when did my global smash power get that high? With Peachy, it was like 300,000. Strange. <coughs> okay, let me host an arena. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure it's not pleasing to listen to someone cough, but... <laughs> Alright, there's the room code. I'm gonna go get some water. PO, it's fine. <laughs> I don't want it to be fine though. I want to be healthy. <laughs> okay, well, let's just go ahead and go. The room code was. Oh! Well, um, YouTube has DVR. You can just uh, rewind the stream for a second. Crap. <laughs> Wait, why am I Pichu? Oh, I didn't mean to use Pichu. Well, I guess I just have to. I keep walking into the swords. Couldn't get my grab. Whoa, what happened? I 
Darn it, I was trying to input another tilt, but it didn't come out fast enough. Oh, that, I shouldn't use down air that close at that high of a percent. Alright. <laughs> Wait, I set the roof to top one leaf, so if I win, then I get kicked out. I wasn't expecting to win. Oh. <coughs> well, I need to change my character anyways. Um... Let's see. I can't see anything. Huh? You'll probably beat me because I'm not that good. <coughs> we can do this all day if you want to. This self-deprecation battle. <laughs> so how's life been for you guys, huh? Having a good winter break? If it's winter. No, I can't imagine living in the Southern Hemisphere. Having it be summer during Christmas time, like... That's radical. Sounds fun. Twelve? You have a smash power of twelve? Wow. Did you, like, lose on purpose? Or are you saying you're ranked 12 in the world? Oh. I'm kind of scared. Oh, I uploaded a Smash video of me actually winning against the Marth. That was like one of the greatest achievements of my life because they, they bullied me for like 15 minutes and then I finally won. <laughs> I was so proud of myself. <laughs> a lot of... In this game, it's just me. It's like a constant learning process for me. Because like I have like zero idea what any of these characters can do. I did not grow up with Smash. So like... I just get knocked around. <laughs> it's like, oh, if the character could do that, huh? And then, you know, you already took like three hits, so that, that means you're like ready to get smashed. So then by the time I try to think of a strategy, the game's already over. So it's like, okay, well. <laughs> but you know, that's just how it goes. You have to put in the time to be good. It just be easy. Oh, thank you for linking the arena number. I forgot. DBSD7. <laughs> I recorded some Puyo matches this morning, and honestly, I didn't do so great. Like, my mind is just out of it lately. Probably because I'm sick, but I don't like making excuses. Alright, let's see how you guys do this. Mario frightens me. 
Or maybe it's just because my main experience fighting Mario is Oz and Oz is a pro. <laughs> I played with Oz in real life um, at Versus Realm yesterday and it was quite the experience. It's just like all the stuff I was just used to throwing out as Pichu and being safe. Apparently it's not safe against Mario. So I kept dying. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Like a lot of Mario's attacks are... They come out fast and they do like a pretty moderate amount of damage, right? And then the forward air spike. That's really scary. It seems to me like you're doing pretty well, even though you're doing your new clock. Are you new? Maybe you were playing melee when you were like one years old. Is there a way to set the room so it's just like a random person leaves instead of just the top one? Like now that I'm playing Chrom, I think I can cheese wins now, so like I might actually stay in the room. <laughs> Wish you had a switch. What's stopping you? Oh, there's only winner leaves or loser leaves as options? Darn. Why couldn't there just be like a random option? Oh, you could have punished that, I guess. <clears throat> oh, nice. You're punishing the landing. Oh. You have the right idea for this game. Are you sure you're new? I feel like it's all like a lie so you can beat on me later. I see how it is. <laughs> oh. What is supposed to be the use of Mario's cape attack? It just turns the projectile or the, the person around, right? But like, when is it the most useful? I feel like, I don't know. Hmm, there's a lot I still don't understand. Oh, nice cape to like block the projectile. Oh. Good. Oh, well, <laughs> the the up air. Did you? Win. What just happened? I was too busy coughing to pay attention. Alright, see you, P.O. Alright, please go easy on me.
Hey, why don't you supposed to use Krom's neutral special? The thing really charges his sword and smashes the ground. When is that supposed to be useful? I just feel like there's a bunch of other attacks you could be throwing out besides that one. What properties does that have that sets, a, that sets it apart? Ledge Guard, does it have a lasting hitbox? Oh. Wait, communication. What? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it pokes below the ledge, the neutral special? Oh, okay. I'll try that. Step into the ring. Hey, Enzu. That was pretty interesting how um, the room just died. <sighs> Good to know that I'm paying $20 for this service. But not really a service since it's uh, peer to peer. <laughs> oh, what? Alright, and Doc's calm. You said last time that you're actually he heading for Elite League, right? So I feel like I'm out of my element here. You can counter right after that? Maybe it's because like the percent's too low. What? How does that go through the stage? What is this nonsense? Daisy's... I don't understand Daisy. Oh, this counter keeps getting me! trying to get the grab. Oh, I almost got you. How did that not get you? Surprise, I survived from that low. I need to stop trying to challenge that. that I should have done down smash okay Oh, 
<laughs> hey, I did better than the last time I played against you, though. Walked into what? Three, two, one, go! Oh. Well, who is Dark Cygnus? That's not how you do it. <laughs> Wow, I feel... <laughs> I feel great. <laughs> that was pretty hilarious. Krom is funny. Wait, if I win, then I don't get to play. <laughs> Actually winning in this game is like something I finally got to start feeling once I picked up Krom. Is that how you pronounce his name? I don't, I don't want to be like pronouncing it wrong, I'm just so afraid. Oh wait, I guess I should pay attention to the announcer when- <coughs> Cloud looks fun to play. Oh, well, is it supposed to be looking this laggy? Fox's lasers? Like, what do you do about them? They shoot so fast and so far. Why are you charging limit right next to them? What? 
I have to say, Cloud has a lot of cool looking moves. Huh? Is laser bad? Laser seems really good to me. That teleport move is pretty good too. Can you hit them out of it? I guess he could afford it though. Well, wow, he just eventually died to the dash attack. <coughs> Kana has a big, fast hitbox on that. Fox's side B can't go past shields. Is that the teleport move? What? YouTube didn't notify you? I'm sorry. Is there something better I should be doing? I do have a website. Maybe I can like sign up for a push notification service. Can you hit Fox out of the teleport attack, or is it just too fast? I suppose if you manage to shield it, then you can just grab them right after, right? Does it go through shields? Right? It doesn't? Oh, you got Persona 5? You know, I think there might be a Persona 5 for Switch. Even though I already bought it for PS4, I will totally buy it for Switch again. Oh, that was... that was unfortunate. You know, I'm glad that with the release of Smash Ultimate that Nintendo changed their monetization policy for for Nintendo games. Because previously, I didn't... It was fun streaming Splatoon and all, but... I didn't get any ad revenue from it, so... It was hard to justify keep doing it. I signed up for the Nintendo Creators Program, and they would send me like 3 cents every... 5 months. <laughs> At least this way, at least I have some support now. I hope I can grow my YouTube channel more because, uh, I don't know. More people watching Puyo is always good, right?
Uh, I'm totally going to main Joker when he's released. It's like, not even a question. <laughs> I'm just not that basic of a person. <laughs> Wait, what? What? The, the gun doesn't stun you, so you can just like walk him and hit him? What? Is that the trick? Why are you only fishing for grab? I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, I don't understand. Oh. Oh. The only thing I'm worried about with Joker is that <sighs> I don't know why Atlas had to do this, but they decided to make the main character of Persona 5 different from the other ones instead of in like instead of being a super tropey protagonist and using a sword, Joker uses daggers like an actual thief. But this is Smash. No one wants a stubby weapon like a dagger. Everyone wants the big sword hitboxes. <laughs> So I don't know how that's going to play out. Isn't Palutena top tier? A lot of people are picking her up. Like all those projectiles and stuff are just so hard to deal with. Oh, you can pull out the counter so fast. And then you go for the grab. I need to know when that's coming out. Oh. Make myself face the stage. Dude, the warp is like so confusing. How do you like catch her? I guess like that. Gosh, Peloton is annoying. She keep like destroying my recovery. I need to learn how to win neutral against Palutena somehow, but like she's art, she's good at everything. It's like, oh my god! How do you go so far? Darn it, I was guessing your dodge would go the other way. What?
No, everyone's talking about Palutena like she's top tier in this game. And like top smash player like smash top smash players are picking her off. How do we get out of that? Doesn't Ness have a kill grab? Well, we can do this all day. <laughs> Wait, I won. Dang it, I get kicked out. What's the arena code? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Is this the Mario Tennis Aces song? Man, do you guys remember that game? Everyone was so hype about Mario Tennis Aces. Like it was going to be like the next fighting game sensation. But then like... It seems like everyone's dropped it by now. Like, no one cares anymore. <laughs> well, this is, um, very compelling gameplay here, right here. <laughs>
You don't think Krom is good for learning the game? Why? What's wrong with them? I mean, I feel like for me, learning the game entails simply like learning what the characters can actually do. So I need to at least survive long enough to see what people's attacks are. <laughs> Too polarized of a character. What does that mean? My nose is stuffy. I can like only breathe through my mouth right now. <laughs> well, intense. Cloud is causing the lag. How do I? What? Do, what can I do about it? Um. Wait, you guys are just gonna play again? What? What kind of sorcery are you guys doing to make it this slow? I mean, I guess there's value in learning how to play the game frame by frame. So how do you get out of PK fire? You just have to mash. This is so slow, oh my god. <laughs> Guess I'll load up Puyo Puyo Esports on my PS4 while we wait, huh? I feel like disconnecting. <laughs> I don't want to watch this anymore. It's too slow. <laughs> this 
so you're saying to escape the fire attack, you just SDI. I see. I understand everything now. Can I kick? Am I allowed to kick? go back to the arena but who was lagging I played David it was fine is it really Dave 64 well Gonzalo if you're too laggy to play then I want to at least let someone else join the arena so they can play I'm sorry and then Dave 64. <clears throat> okay, it should be all right now, right? Whoa. What are you fighting? No, I play... Was it Ness? I played David earlier, didn't I? Charizard could say English words? Oh. Hey, once the Pokemon dies, can you use them again? What, what is going on? I'm so confused. Wait, you can stop the PK fire from traveling far by hitting it? Looking fine now. What does he do differently? <laughs> it's all right, Dave. There's always next time. Is Ike completely different? Oh, he is different.
So wait, is Ike charging the neutral special? Is that what's making the blue fire along the ground? <laughs> So if I do that with Krom, will the big, like, thing get bigger too? Hey Siege! Well, that hits high. That's actually kind of useful. for my friends. Ether. What is that supposed to mean? Hey, Kyle. Oh, you're going, Isabel. This is scary. What are you doing? Why do you keep SDing? Wait, how did she not get hit by the fishing rod? Having a projectile forward air is so good. of the missiles that <coughs> that Isabel plants in the ground. I've tried hitting them before and sometimes they disappear and sometimes they don't. So I don't really understand. Recording service, it's free if you have Puyo Esports and you want to record some matches. <coughs> I think there just should be more Puyo videos on YouTube. I'm surprised Charizard is still alive at 200%. That didn't KO. Surprising. <laughs> okay, there you go. <coughs> Puyo Puyo Esports is a Puyo game. That's like its actual name. Oh, nice parry. How much for it? It's twenty dollars now. Oh, wow, big hitbox. Oh, oh my gosh.
I'm not sure why you keep doing that. Is it possible for me to turn around in the air and face the other direction so I can use my recovery better? Oh. You know, I've realized if I win here, then I don't get to play everyone else. Big range. I think that has more range, right? <laughs> Winner stays and loser leaves. Maybe I'll remake the room. <laughs> I'll do that. So there's like an actual incentive for trying to play well. <laughs> Since I can actually cheese wins with Krom now. <laughs> What's B reverse? How do I do that? Can you be reverse in the air? Well, can we make a rule where, like, if you already got to play twice in a row, can you just, like, remove yourself from the arena for the next round so other people get a chance to play? Like, different matchups? Except for me, though. Uh, streamer privilege. <laughs> You know, I haven't really played a WarioWare game in a long time. Doesn't doesn't Sonic have like this like really humongous forward smash? When you do a special move, if you press the opposite direction you're facing, you turn the move around. Wait a second. Sorry, press B, hit r the opposite direction really fast, and then... Up? Wait. But then, when not just the neutral special come out? Do you have to hit up B, right, or... I'm not really sure the instructions. So how do I do the up B in the other direction? <coughs> Wait, instead of going straight up on the control stick, angle it a bit. Okay. So wait, there's like a buffer where you can input the other direction and you'll turn around before like the move comes out. Yeah. 
or just do an angled up B from the beginning. Is that what you're saying? Okay, I'm gonna try it out in the next round. <coughs> um, how do I change the arena settings? Well, how do I get clock? Clock, you basically played like the last five rounds. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Ike versus Ness. Three, so up B, then one, quickly go. tilt to the right or left. Is that what you're saying for for Chrome? I'm sorry. I just like... Inputs for Smash are really hard for me. Whoa, you were like almost failing to challenge that. That was kind of scary. The thing is, since I'm using a pro controller, it's really easy to accidentally do side B instead of the angled up B. So I hope I can pull it off correctly. I wish I had a gated controller. Maybe I'll buy the Hori GameCube controller when it comes out. Can I show the room code after this? Five E five HK. Am I allowed to change the settings? Oh no, I'm in the back of the line now. Seriously, why can't it, it just be like, I don't know. It should get, I should let the host of the room have greater control if he, he's like cycling through. <laughs> okay, now we're watching you guys. Young Link is really... I hate it when Young Link uses like the boomerang and arrows from across the stage. It's just like I have no idea how to approach any of that. Oh.
You can combo after the boomerang. That's a really far air dodge. <coughs> so, Ike's neutral B pokes below the ledge. Is that right? Young Link's uh, hookshot grab is, it always gets me too. Wait, you can throw two bombs at the same time? Z dropping? I have no idea. What is that? Press whatever your grab button is in mid-air while holding an item. What does that do? You can drop your item, I'm guessing, but is there anything different about... Oh, what was that? Yeah, I'd say Young Link is pretty... I don't know. Adult Link is pretty tricky with the remote bombs, but like... I don't know. Having two bombs out is also really good. That's really far. What move was that? Charged side B. Okay. Is random boss gonna random boss gonna play every match at this rate? <laughs> I should have made a top one leaves. 
Oh. Okay, oh. I don't understand Lucario. I've never seen them play before. Guess I'll find out. <laughs> I just like swatted you away. <laughs> Whoa, that's big. Is that a counter move? Oh, I shouldn't have been afraid. Counter move can kill? What is that? Okay, let me change. Let me just make a new room. Ready? Well, I want to see Joseph play first, though. Team 24, let's go. I 
I played against the Meta Knight once online. I kept. I was really stupid. I kept trying to challenge the recovery on his drill attack. It, it wasn't working. How did that happen? See, that drill attack always gets me. It's like you think you have Meta Knight Quarter, and then he throws out that big disjointed hitbox. Whoa. Where, where is the camera? What is that? That shot's so high. So does charging up the carrier just like uh, increase the range on the attacks? Is it Lucario? Aura, okay. Oh wait, I remember seeing this Pokemon movie where Lucario was the main character. And they had like some mystical aura power. Yo, the teleport move too, that always confuses me. Because you can hit right after it, right? And then how do you hit that whirlwind? Can you challenge that? That, that looks like it didn't have any lag afterwards either. I just don't understand when you can hit Metalite. I didn't know he had a voice. Okay, let me make another room. How do I take myself out? I'll probably play less since I'll lose a lot, but I think I see a decent chance with Krom, so I won't lose all the time, right? <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about the code.
Whoa, my YouTube chat is broken. Whoa. Whoa, that goes far. Oh, whoa, what is that? Are you- it's charging the aura something you have to like actually press the button to do? Is that making you vulnerable? <laughs> Side B, force palm. A command grab. <coughs> oh wait, aura is by damage. Oh, okay. to that. Whoa, that came out fast.
Oh, that hit my shield. Oh no, I should have. Oh, I rolled into that. That lasts a long time. Daisy can do things like really fast. I mean, I guess she's top tier for a reason. It's like the way you can float around and like mix up which direction you drop down. It's so confusing. I missed. Darn it. And that kills too? How many good things does Daisy and Peach get to have? Weakness is long range of swords. So basically, I just need to learn how to space myself better, huh? And also to catch that turnip. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you hit through that. Nice. Maybe I should try that point. Oh. Wow, I don't know which direction you were supposed to recover. I guess just grab the ledge. Maybe things would have worked out better if I'd spanned out the side B more often. Peach might have been it, or Daisy might have just ran into it. had priority. <laughs> Dang, you like, 
You have to be like really fast on the uptake on punishing the whiffs. It's like really the only way sometimes when you're like against Daisy. <laughs> but yeah, Beach and Daisy have like everything. A really tricky projectile turnip thing that can mess you up. A counter move, a kill throw. Side B that makes her like move. What's her recovery? What's the up B? I don't know. Her floating thing. That just gives you movement that's like on a different dimension than what everyone else plays in this game. The only thing she doesn't get, yeah, you're right. A big disjointed hitbox, but I don't know. Everything else is so good. Oh, I see. Some people like they float right over the at like the corner of the stage to edge guard with uh, Peach and Daisy, and it, like always, almost gets the two frame. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> Decide which forward smash you want. It's different. I don't know, it's hard to judge. The thing is, networking environments are always, there's many variables going on. And it's just the easiest thing to do is to blame the game. Rather than go through the whole network of things that could be going wrong. Like your cables, your modem, your router, your spirits, a lot of things. And then you don't know what it's like on the other side. Like, your opponent, you don't know their networking environment. So how do you really know in the end? I'm just saying, I wouldn't be so quick to just blame the game automatically. There could be a lot of other things going wrong. So, what people say online, I would just take with a grain of salt. Oh, so this is how you fight Palutena. Oh, what? Wait! How did Palutena not get that dash attack? Is there invincibility on that parasol? Was there an air dodge somewhere? I couldn't really see it. I'm surprised that up smash didn't kill. <laughs> Wait, can you combo into that? <laughs> Was that grab into up smash? Wow, nice. You guessed where the warp would go. It's hard to know when Palutena's in a punishable state. I like, don't know when to like attack her. Wow, you even the playing field a lot in Doxcom.
Oh, you're really fishing for the counter. Okay, so is that... When she shines the blue light in front of her, is that the jab? Nice. <laughs> The thing is, there is no service. Isn't this all peer to peer? <coughs> Your inputs aren't really being sent through the server. Oh, nice. What was that? A spot dodge? Smart to save your second jump for that long. Uh oh. Wow. Her back throw kills. That's so good. Are they gonna nerf Peach and Daisy in the next patch? That'll be kinda sad. Since I think it's hilarious that they're top tier. But I don't know. People are vocal. Peach, is pretty, Peach and Daisy would be pretty good at just playing around Richter and Simon's, like, edge guarding. So her up smash also has like a a side hitbox if she's really close. Whoa, what is that? Was that her up throw? And then her up, her up air kills just like that. <laughs> What, there isn't enough hit stun on that? I guess so. What is that? Nice! Wait, don't shield the Mr. Saturn. What is that? Control. So you you can't control what's picked up. What happens if you get so lucky that you just constantly pick up a Mr. Saturn? Will the game let you do that? 
I'm playing Krom. Yeah, I was like actually winning matches so that I couldn't keep playing in the in the room since I decided to like top one leaves. <laughs> it's like a whole different world, like actually winning. You can do this, Joseph. You can overcome the top tierness of Peach and Daisy. You got this. Wow, there wasn't enough hit stun, even though she was at that high of a percent. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Hey, Meta Knight has some pretty good tools to punish. To whiff punish. Good lasting hitboxes. Oh, that's the down. Is that the down tilt? Oh, darn. Yo, I fought Meta Knight for the first time on ranked. It was so hard because like, okay, well, partly it was me being stupid thinking I could eventually beat what his drill attack when they were trying to recover. No, it was never going to work. I don't know why I thought it would. That's clearly a big destructive hitbox that I can't hit through. <laughs> I don't know why I kept trying, but I did. It didn't work. You got this, Joseph! Uh-oh. Oh no, man. That down smash? Is that what it is? It's like so big! I like- I feel like they distort the polygons or whatever on her dress just to make that attack visually bigger. <laughs> Why did she get to have that? <laughs> I saw a fan art of people drawing pictures of like Peachy's forward tilt <laughs> and it's like normal Peachy and then like a gigantic fat leg because it's like so ridiculous how much rage it has. Oh my gosh. Peach, is, Peach and Daisy are so good. Come on, Joseph. Nice. And that, the, um, the umbrella, it hits through the stage, doesn't it? <sighs> Darn, one hit and you're... Uh-oh. Oh, that down smash was so scary. Come on, go! Uh oh. Sorry. <laughs> Were you with that like shuttle loop? I knew it was the end.
Well, I guess everyone's going to try to take down Dre because, um, clearly he's top tier. <laughs> I don't think anyone is going to win. That was really close though. Joseph had the best chances out of all of us. I'm surprised Dre like walked into that. Oh, that didn't hit. I guess I guess Jigglypuff is a lot harder to hit. Oh, nice throws, dude. Dude, the way she can like float along the ground and like really fast and like just throw out the forward like what is it the forward tilt? Dude, like how do you fight that? Okay, somehow you have to... Oh? So like, so, like, her side B, like, if she, like, hits her shield, like, she just gets thrown back. So you can't really punish her for it, right? So is it like actually kind of safe to just throw that out for butt attack? <coughs> like it seems like to punish it, you have to like spot dodge so that she lands on the ground instead. That's what has lag. So wait, so if this if her side B it's her, hits something, then it doesn't give her any landing lag. Dang. Let's see if Sonic can do this. Wow, Dre's really good hitting Sonic out of that attack, the ball. OK, 
catching the roll. Oh my god! Nice. Okay. This is still pretty even. I'm not sure what... Sonic's advantage here is. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> I think Frozy's just being really good about uh getting hits in somehow uh oh oh nice okay hopefully you can edge guard oh edge guarding peach and daisy what am i talking about they're so good at just like how do you edge guard though they just have so much good air mobility <laughs> attack uh oh oh no 71 percent nice i saw <laughs> isn't it like sonic's forward smash just like really reach really far nice going uh oh oh my gosh nice keep going you just have to get the chip somehow I guess Oh my gosh, that was so scary. I thought the up air was coming out. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> okay, my turn. I don't know if I can do this. I've literally been only using Chrom for like one day, but... after up air oh I ran into that
Oh no! Oh. Oh, I roll into that. Ah, oh, my recovery. There we go. Oh no! Darn it! I thought my neutral air would get. This isn't a big enough advantage. I should have rolled. Darn it, I guess. Can I catch that? Oh, I totally messed up there. I was trying to catch it, but it didn't work. <laughs> what button did you press to catch? Grab? I thought attack works too. Use forward tilt to kill. Oh. Ready? Aerial or an air dodge? What? You have to do an aerial? Wow, you're doing really well. <laughs> oh, nice. Is that a counter? Or do you just have super armor? Maybe you could have like thrown out a smash attack and got her before she hit the ledge. No challenging the Daisy Peach down kicks while they're floating. It's kind of hard, isn't it? the stage.
Oh, okay. I don't know, I'm scared about recovering low with Krob though, because I'm not good at doing the B-reverse, so sometimes I do it in the wrong direction and I just die. Is this... Is it finally going to happen? Maple... Can Maple do it? Uh-oh. Whoa, you got out. Nice. Uh-oh. No! No! Oh! No! My hero! <laughs> Combo into turnip. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh sad. I'm so sad. Yeah. Hope is lost, guys. Daisy will be the end of us all. She's so good. Oh well. Okay, my hope's on the Doxicom. I'm sure you can beat. Easy. You got this. Ready? <laughs> I think Daisy's actually Three, really good at also two, moving around Palutena Zodig. go how do you control the distance of exploding explosive flame <coughs> well Dre's being really aggressive nice somehow you have to just punish the side view Oh, there you go! <laughs> oh, almost. Darn, grabbed in the wrong direction. Uh oh. Whoa, what was that? You know, I miss playing Super Mario Odyssey. It really did feel like a journey playing that game. It was fun. Oh, did you do an exploding flame like really far away? Come on, you've got this. Uh oh. Dude, it just it just kills me how Peach and Daisy's like umbrella could go through the stage like that. It's such a good recovery option. Because like they can't like edge guard you like normal like other characters were trying to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that shield was getting small. Whoa, there you go. <gasps> Is this? <gasps> Come on. No, it's even. <laughs> Who 
Who do I main? For now, it's just Pichu and Krom. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, you dodged the turn up. That was so close. <laughs> that was godlike. Oh my gosh. Downwards turn up. Oh! <laughs> Wow, you keep dodging the grabs. That's impressive. <gasps> wow, this is really a touch to see Daisy maybe. <gasps> there you go! <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow, I shouldn't be playing this game when I'm sick. So, wow, that was hype. You finally took down Daisy. <laughs> Well, now we have to figure out how to beat Palutena, who's also a top tier. <laughs> well. How does that work? Her counter, like... So... If Richter just throws out one of those, like, lasting projectiles, Polytena can just, like, randomly run up to that and try to hit it. And then somehow her counter still gets... <laughs> there you go! <laughs> That's so ignorant! What the heck? <laughs> Why does that get to happen? <laughs> This is like really sad to watch. <laughs> like what is Richter actually supposed to do? Like both of these characters can play a keep away game, but Polytenic can move a lot better. So. Oh, finally a stock. Gosh. Wow. <laughs> the thing is, like, how are you supposed to land? Like, there's the up smash, which is super huge. Pelotonic could just jump up and do the up air, which will also kill you. Then you try to land right next to her. She just did the side smash. Somehow you just have to hope your air dodge or something goes perfect. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, Robin. You know, when Joker comes out, I hope like the the dagger still has at least like this amount of range that Robin has. Oh my gosh, how do you land? Oh, there you go. Ah. Uh, the thing is, like, <coughs> in order to fight Palutena correctly, I feel like you have to do some studying on, like, the hit stun against her, like, your moves against her. Because, like, the way she can just pull up the counter against you is really annoying. It just happens so fast. Like, knowing when your turn is over is my hardest thing in this game. Like, I keep trying to go for follow-ups, but like, the... Some of certain characters just like, pull out their counter move against me, and I'm like, oh, well, I didn't know, I should have just kept away. <laughs> and I don't know if there's any way around that except just playing against the character more and learning the matchup. Whoa. I thought Palutena had her counter out. Oh, that killed! What? Oh my god. It was just like a tiny projectile too. So it doesn't reflect with the same power that you shoot at it? Is it more? Memorize the spacing against Palutena too, because like her roll is like a teleport roll, right? Is that it? So sometimes it's not entirely obvious to me where, like how far she will go. Oh, nice! <laughs> was that your jab? That was nice. Whoa, did you guess the roll? That was really good. Uh oh. I think Doxcom is accidentally using explosive flame like too far away, right? How do you control the distance? Uh-oh. Oh! <laughs> I saw that you were getting punished a lot for it. Let me just like Google this. Wait. Ah. 
Why is this Smash Wiki not say like how you actually use the moves? It's just like patch notes on it. Why are these wikis so bad? So what is this? Okay, wait. So wait, it works differently in Smash Ultimate, right? Okay, maybe that's why there isn't stuff on the wiki for it. Explosive Flames distance to now be controlled depending on Smash input. What does that mean? What, what's a smash input? Like, the actual smash attack? Or, like, mashing the input multiple times? That's what it says on the wiki. Just read it through the Reddit post. Wait, okay, explosive flame goes further if you input it like a smash attack, but if you input it like a tilt, it's closer. Oh, so if you hold a stick and then press B, it's close. If you flick and press B at the same time, it goes far. The key to victory lies within. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> I, I hope I could do this. Robin's a lot really tricky. I don't know any of his moves, so I don't know what I should be like careful of. Three, two, one, go! Oh, I didn't mean to. I already screwed up. <laughs> I didn't mean to air dodge there and like. Do I have to like smash my stick really hard just to get out of arc fire? Oh my gosh, there's so many attacks that he does that where I have to like break my controller just to survive. Darn it, I was trying to do it like a doubt. Oh my god. I'll end you. 
<laughs> oh, oh my god. gosh what <laughs> what is that Wait, what? What is that? Wow, thank you for having pity on me. Too far. Darn it, I thought I could down tilt. Oops, I was supposed to do an aerial. What? <laughs> I just like don't know what's coming at me. So, wait, depending on the charge and like the meter at the bottom, do is. The attacks have different properties, right? So I have to like keep an eye on that. <laughs> hey Taishi, is it the end of Pichu? No, it's just the uh, Oz told me to play Krom, so I'm doing it. <laughs> Rob is just like really tricky. Like the the wind, the fire, so many things you have to like SDI out of, and that's like really annoying. Like, how do you? Am I smashing my stick wrong? Are you supposed to like like go along the sides, or you like go back and forth? I don't really understand. I mean, by the time I realize I'm caught in the attack, I'm like too slow on the uptake to like hit my stick anyways, but. Like, I don't understand that meter. Oh, what? There's like different. Oh, each element has its own meter gauge, too. So you kind of just have to memorize how much is charged up. Oh my god. How does it charge up? He can drop his sword. He dropped the book. What does that mean? Oh, they can't use it anymore? Now, return to your original position. <laughs> wow, that felt like justice right there. Oh, doesn't recharge. Oh, how many uses are left? Okay. Watch the flow of my movements as I demonstrate. Oh. 
Wait, that didn't count as projectile? Dark pits reflect. Now return to your original position. I'm always dressed for Puyo. Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> It's great that it's possible to just live Puyo Puyo as a lifestyle. It's, I'll never stop playing the game. Oh. Do any of you guys draw? I'm still down for commissioning a... T okay, do you guys remember how... When Puyo Puyo Tetris PC came out earlier this year? And there was like some old Twitter campaign on Sega's Twitter. It's like, okay, pick hashtag Team Puyo or hashtag Team Tetris. So then the Tetris company made a Team Tetris shirt, but then Sega never released a Team Puyo shirt. There's still no Team Puyo shirt on the Sega shop. Actually, there's just no Puyo merchandise on there at all. So I still want to commission someone to make a Team Puyo shirt to fill the void in my heart because it, it just needs to exist <laughs> so if any of you guys are down to make that it can be like super simple too i don't i don't care it's just i just need to say hashtag team puyo and then my life will be complete Like, it's kind of clear that Sega's given up on Puyo in the West again, since they just like quietly let it die, but I don't want to let it die. We're not gonna let it die. <laughs> oh my god. Robin's so good. It's just that, like, I don't fight him often enough, so I don't know what is supposed what's like what's coming at me. Okay, Samus, that's new. Three, two, one, go! Huh? I mean, well, okay, so there's been like a lot of like, people don't know how to interpret it as like hopeful or not hopeful, but they're like, when Hustle Yamana Mizuki was questioned about like, well, are you going to release Puyo Esports in like overseas? And they're like, yeah, Korea and Taiwan. And then he was like, well, I don't really know about like Western countries. Um, we sold Puyo Tetris because it had Tetris in it. Which is kind of like somehow implying that he's not confident in Puyo alone. And then there is that line about him thinking that like maybe we should rebrand Puyo again to make it sell in the West more. I was like, like no one knows how to interpret like those messages. What the heck? <laughs> the aura. <gasps> Robin is just. <laughs> but like beyond that, we've already seen like how the Puyo Twitter hasn't posted since like March. Actually, the whole reason why they posted about Anime Evo was because me and Butt were emailing them to like ask them about it. I don't think that we had anyone on watch actually working at Twitter to catch the Evo news. Dude, that's so ridiculous. What is that attack? Also, there weren't any like any indications in like the uh in the file rips that there is like an English localization plan. Put like in the Japanese version of Puyo Esports, they only have they have all the language options for Chinese and Korean in there, but nothing for like any English. And like we've heard 
So like Saiga, they've made announcements that they're trying to change up their localization practices where they where instead of like releasing the Japanese version and then like the English stuff or just any localization like a whole year later, like they saw how successful Yakuza was, so they're trying to and like how successful Persona 5 was. So they're trying to sync the localizations and like do them from the beginning during development. So like, okay. And Puyo Esports, the game files, like clearly they worked on both the Korean and Chinese translation from the very beginning. But if they didn't have the English one at all, was it even in the plans? So I don't know what to really think. I mean, Sega's weird. They do things that don't obey logic or sound business practices, so you you can never really know. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm just assuming the worst because like there's nothing else I can really do. Maybe Puyo will get into Smash and that will change things. <laughs> Oh. Was Puyo Tetris a flop? No. It's just that even if Puyo Tetris is successful, I don't know if they have the data to convince their investors that Puyo alone is successful. So who really knows? <clears throat> Although I do have to say, the our, our community was kind of like going out of her way to support Sega. It was like, okay, uh, like, uh, the tournaments and stuff. But they didn't really help us much. Like,. The competitive community was like prepared to go out of her way to give like long term support to extend the lifetime of the game besides just being like Because as it played out in history, it was kind of just like launch the game and let it get its sales for like the first like five months or whatever and then whatever move on But like we were prepared to like keep helping out so like They could be like active continued interest But uh, I don't know things happened really weirdly Oh, Oz! Oz's Mario is like so scary. <laughs> you guys will see. Three, two, one, go! Like the way Oz's movement is on like a different level, so like I just struggle knowing what to do against him most of the time. Oh. Dude, those, those missiles are actually, actually kind of annoying because they like, they, they stay out pretty long, so you have to worry about them in a fast paced game. <laughs> oh, nice cape! That was actually pretty awesome. I guess Dre isn't going to try to do those missiles anymore if they're going to get punished like that. Can, can Mario reverse the huge blast too? Uh oh.
What? What do you mean? No, I believe in Oz. He can turn this around. It's fine. Whoa. That that blast takes off like almost all of your shield. Well. Nice. I need to learn how to actually do that. Like the, the jab when they're like the characters are grounded. Uh-oh. Was that air dodgeable? Oh my gosh. So those missiles like add up. Oh my god. Oh, this isn't looking so good. Okay. Did they make Samus really good in Ultimate? Was it always like this? Or is Dre just like that much, <laughs> that much of a pro? It's hard to get like a kill move in. There's just like a lot of stuff getting thrown around. I think, I guess from my understanding, like one of the hard things is like all the projectile spam is actually really dangerous now because like it depletes your shield really fast. <coughs> so Samus has a really easy time getting like a hidden now. Uh oh. Pretty much anything will kill now, right? I'm like really scared. Oh, if only that spike would connect. Uh oh, that's that's it, isn't it? Oh, that is a kill. Uh oh. oh no, Oz. No, I didn't jinx him. It's not my fault. Wow, you guys are blaming me. Even though it's really Oz's fault for losing, so now like I feel bad for some reason. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Oh, really bad online. All right, I forgot. In Georgia, the smash scene here is really huge, so you don't really actually have to go, like, go out, well, go online. There's lots of people here to support you. I'm stuck with online because, uh, well, some days I have a card to use, but most of the time I don't. It's hard to travel for me. Although, my my job um so I work at a university and they're supposed to like give you to reimburse transportation fees so you can get to work so I do have a, a an unlimited bus pass for free I just got it like a, a week ago maybe I can actually like well I don't know I still don't like taking the bus here in Atlanta because like 20 minute drives become like hour 30 minute journeys because the bus system, depending on where you're trying to go, it's not so great. Wow, Potion's doing really well. I wonder what tricks Dre is gonna pull out to like. Oh, there it is. So I see. If you have a good projectile, you can catch Zelda's like uh, wind teleport. 
that dash attack isn't safe on shield. Oh. But maybe Potion can just carry this advantage through. Trey might not be able to turn it back. I don't know. Oh, actually, here it comes. Wow. Tether grabs are really fun. <laughs> oh. I guess it goes so far. Wait, when she becomes a diamond? Is that a counter move? Any places I recommend for Smash tournaments? What do you mean? In Atlanta? I don't know. You should ask Oz that. <laughs> I don't really get. Oh my god! <gasps> no, wait, that reflects projectiles since when? <laughs> what? It's a reflect, but it also hurts. <laughs> hmm. I think the next Gwinnett Brawl should be soon. I don't know. It's something you have to like... Okay, so <laughs> a lot of the Smash stuff here in Atlanta is like organized on Facebook, but I deleted my Facebook because I got like, I don't know. I was too lazy to keep up with all, uh, you know, what's going on with Facebook nowadays. And I was just like, whatever, I can't handle this anymore. Also, I don't talk to anyone on Facebook anymore either. I have zero friends on there. <laughs> Good luck, Tawny. Hopefully, you can get through Zelda's zoning and. Oh. oh my god! So, wait, how does Zelda control the fire. the fire. like ball. like the fire projectile? Can she control one and it explodes? Is it like at will or is it like how long you hold the button before you like like shoot it off? But like you have so much control over like where Din's fire will go. Like uh, wow. But that was just like ridiculous. Huh. So you just have to hope your air dodge is on point. But I feel like it can still get you if they decide to pop it early. What? <laughs> that kills too. <laughs> yeah, if that Krom couldn't do anything, I'm not really sure I'm going to be able to do anything either. Is that Krom? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Like, that dense fire can like keep pushing you off really far if you screw up one air dodge, so... I guess you have to like try to recover low as best as you can without still like, you know, totally SDing with Krom. But wait, Zelda can angle it downwards too, right? <laughs> so maybe there's no escape. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, nice. He didn't get hit. How much is the lag on, like, what was that, four orders win? Nice. Maybe you can just, like, keep using <laughs> like the, the homing attack to punish, like, the... Uh-oh. You weren't... Oh no! The, the tricky thing about fighting pushes Zelda is that like I put into like guessing situations like a lot. Gotta guess the roll, gotta guess the floors win teleport. And like not get hit by. You can control how far you go with it, right? Dash attack's good. Din's fire is good. Oh. Oh, does it- does it have- does Furore's win have a hitbox on like, before she disappears? Wait, it does have a hitbox? Okay, somehow you just have to react really fast to that. Punish the teleports. Uh oh. Oh, <gasps> nice air dot Oh no! Wait, what was that? Was that like forward air? That was a good spot dodge. Oh my god. I'm about to get decimated because I don't know if if I can really get around all this zoning, but I'll try. <coughs> like Zelda could just teleport herself back to the stage in a way that's hard to guess. So I'm not sure if I could keep even if I get neutral. Why is that last log? Wait, how do I? Oh. Oh, wait, what? I should have known he would dodge behind. Okay, good guess. Darn it. I was trying to get poke. Oh, I meant to do a smash attack. That might have killed. Darn it! Ugh. How do I punish that? Oh 
Oh my gosh, it jumped into that. I thought my sword would hit through that, but I guess not. Darn it, wrong way. Oh my gosh, you keep like out guessing me. Oh, okay, I messed that up. I like don't know how to get a kill move in. Oh, did you just SD to have pity on me? I guess I could kill a forward tilt, right? Darn it, I couldn't get the grab in. What is with this jab? Darn it, nice spot dodge. If only I could have guessed that. Nice dodging. <laughs> how, how do you know to do that? Darn it. I thought I could get the neutral air close enough. Darn it. I should have used side B, huh? Wow, you caught my roll. I forgot that you're not invincible as you go up when you roll. Well, I got slightly close. At least I got him down to one stop. You know, all the characters you guys have used against, like, like, well, against each other and me, like, I never get the feeling like, wow, that's really useless. The characters all have pretty good options. Three, it's just that the two, one, go. Like, I feel like in some other games, like, like, the tiers are decided by, like, characters, like, they just have too many things that are just straight up useless for what kind of game they're in. But here, it seems like it's just like there's good things and there's just like extra good things. So everyone's fun to play and watch. Oh my gosh. Oh, finally <laughs> I hit it. Oh my gosh. Come on, keep going. Oh. Famous last words. Wow. I guess you couldn't do anything because he did the directional air dodge, right? Well, that, that's actually kind of ridiculous. Because like, you still have to recover towards the stage, and the only way to dodge Dids fire completely or reliably is to do the directional air dodge right so you can like force them to use that option and then go for the up air to kill Is it even feasible to think about 
punishing for Rory's win. That's what I was trying to do the, when I was playing, but like, I know it worked a couple times, but that was like on pure extremely hard guesses. Like, I don't think it's something I can really... Like, I don't know if it's like something you should really think is feasible, right? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the best you could do is just like try to predict where they'll go, run near the spot and dodge or or shield. Maybe hope you can get the grab. So that counter is only a reflect for projectiles, but not melee attacks. Okay. Oh, if you have a good projectile, you can bait out the counter, right? Oh, oh no. It's just like <coughs> potions being really good and like zoning you into like Dead's fire is like has such good like mobility that it really forces you to like move in the air in a certain direction. So then like you also have to like hope you're not falling right to like a smash attack or an up air. I wonder what people. The thing is, if Z did Zelda make how high did Zelda make like those really extremely early tier lists? If she didn't make top tier, then there has to be a counter to all of this, right? What is it? I wish I knew enough Smash about enough about Smash to like know. I mean, I guess she has trouble with sword characters, but everyone in this game has trouble with sword characters. So then, what's like, usable advice? What do you do? A lot of Shulk's move ha moves have like a lot of lag. Oh my god, that Dins Fire is so scary. That probably kills at this percent now, right? Oh, darn. This is getting really sad. What was that? How far did that go? I'm so confused. Do you guys have any theories about how we're supposed to be dealing with Zelda? Okay, let's see if Oz can do it. 
Okay, I'm going to root for Potion to indirectly root for Oz, if that's what you guys think Jinxing is. So yeah, go Potion, you can do it! Totally gonna win this. Yeah! Number one! I hope Oz can deal with the net play lag a little better this time around. Oh, it's getting kind of bad, huh? I want to pray that Oz can get a spike. That would just be like ultimate justice. I feel like everything will be right with this world. <laughs> okay, that's kind of bad. I think maybe he messed up his input because like the lag, it just happened right at that moment. I don't think he meant to go that far. Well, he, he, Oz fiercely ran up and grabbed. Maybe I need to do that. Poche is really good at spot dodging. Like, you have to, like, outguess him on, like, two different levels. <laughs> My IQ isn't high enough for that in this game yet. Oh, I was going for the back air. Oh, gotta lift your shield up. That's not, that's not something I still think about yet. Like making sure your shield, like you tilt it upwards to make it, make certain attacks not hurt you when your shield gets too small. Yeah, this lag is really bad. Nope, there's a hitbox that hits high. It's too dangerous to walk up close. I saw that and I was like having flashbacks to the other day when Potion got me with that. I was Pichu too and it still hit me. That hitbox is like all about her body. You can't challenge the up smash unless you're really careful. Hmm. Oz is getting really good at punishing the Furore's win. Oh. Darn it, that was... That looked really weird. I was hoping Oz would get that, but something happened. I was for sure Oz landed first and was able to get his attack out, but then somehow... I actually don't know what attack that is for Zelda with the sparkles. Is that her tilt? Darn it. I, like, I knew the Four Wars win was coming, but like, I don't know how you're supposed to like not get hit by it or guess where it's going to go. Oh my gosh, that was like pro. Did Oz just like cancel out the, f the Din's fire by caping it? 
I think Potion was hoping for a roll. On yeah, you cannot get that close to Zelda when she up smashes. It makes no sense, but like it will still hit you, even though like it seems like you're far away. Potion's just like really good at guessing when he's supposed to be spot dodging, and it always gives him like a really good advantage with Zelda. I feel. I don't know. Is, does the back air kill at this percent? Is that what Oz is going for? Okay. This doesn't look too bad. I think that was like the jab combo, right? There was too much. This is getting really scary. Uh oh. No! Okay, we kind of want to just go to sleep, so we'll let Dre have um his chance at somehow taking down this ultimate Zelda, and then that'll be it. Potion always seems to have a good idea of what you're going to be hungry for whenever you manage to actually get in within range. So like he totally saw that grab coming. But like I don't know what else you're supposed to do. You have to try something, right? It's not like you can like how well can you actually expect yourself to outguess a spot dodge like that? Maybe if you have something with like a more lasting hitbox. Like even if they dodge it, it'll still I like how that sorta of hits behind, right? It's kind of far to the side too, doesn't it?
Hmm. Even when you shield that smash attack. Oh, that's right. You are. If you just shield the smash attack, Potion still has a chance to like just roll out the way or something. So you can't be sure that you can easily follow up with a normal attack. What should you do on shield? Oh, perfect! That was good. Nice punish of the Floor's Wind. Whoa, that was almost there. <gasps> Amazing! Oh my gosh! Go Trey, he did it! Yeah, I'm gonna cover tonight. I need to go get some rest. Thank you for all these entertaining matches. I'm gonna try to get better at this game still. I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing Chrome or what, but uh, we'll see. Thank you, Dre. That was really entertaining to see you actually take down Potion. <laughs> all right. Well, that's it for me. Oh, we'll see you guys later. Uh, I have a lot of Puyo videos like lined up for the next couple of weeks. I think my routine is going to be just like Puyo videos released on schedule in the new at like in the afternoon and then like I'll stream Smash at night or something. I guess. I think that's what you should expect from me for a little while. Although my schedule might change soon because I'm going to be taking classes after work. So, uh, that's going to start like next month. We'll see. All right. Thank you for playing with me. <laughs> this was really fun and I learned a lot. See you guys later.